here's another opportunity. I'm going to give you two or three chances to try to get the correlated down. And I know you're going to get this. This is going to be well worth your time. Here is the sales table with product ID, sale date, and daily sales. I want you to show me all columns from the sales table. If the daily sales column is greater than the average daily sales within its own product ID, good luck. How did you do? If you're getting this, then you are really doing well. If not, we got a couple more chances for you. Now remember, in a correlated subquery, it's going to have the same table name twice, alias differently, and we're going to bring that bottom where clause uniting those two top and bottom queries together. Now we wanted to know who was making more than the average daily sales within its own product ID. So we're going to say select everything from sales table as I called it top S where daily sales is greater than select the average daily sales from sales table again but I called this bottom S where top S dot product ID equals bottom S dot product ID. Since we wanted to find out who's making more than the daily sales within their own product ID, it's going to be the product ID right here is that last where clause. That's how a correlated is going to work. You're getting much closer at doing this. I'm going to make a little change and you're going to master this on the next query. Let's use the sales table again. Now you've got product ID, you've got sale date, and daily sales. Show me the, all the rows using a correlated. If the daily sales is greater than the average daily sales within its own sale date. This is important. If you're getting this down, you're really going to take something back with you. Now, the only thing we needed to change between this query and the last query was the WHERE clause. Now it's where top S dot sale date equals bottom S dot sale date. Once again, we pulled from the sales table in the top and the bottom. We gave them a top S and a bottom S alias. Then in the WHERE clause, since we wanted to know which rows would come back that had a daily sales greater than the average daily sales within their own sale date, the WHERE clause is going to be where top S dot sale date equals bottom S dot sale date. Nice work. You get one more shot at this. Come through for me. I know you can do this. Just take your time. I've got a different table. You can make this happen. This is going to be the student table. We've got the student ID, the last name, the first name, the class code the students are in, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors, and their grade point. Write the correlated subquery. Select everything from the student table. If the student has a grade point that's greater than the average grade point, within their own class code. Good luck.
As you can see, we're using the student table in the top query and the bottom query. We alias it differently and then we have that where top s dot class code equals bottom s dot class code. That is how you write a correlated subquery. Wonderful work. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.